Today's the day! Today's the day! Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a insanely packed Friday. There are so many things happening today, but most importantly, we are finally getting the Link's Awakening remake for Nintendo Switch. is finally out! Finally out! And uh, we're about to play it. So, uh, I'm excited. Um, so, for those of you that may not know, today... Our playthrough of Link's Awakening is actually the first time I've ever played this game. I've never played the original. And, as a bonus, my first ever 2D Zelda game. So, this will be an experience. That, that's for sure. Anyway, um, I have played a little bit of the demo that was available at E3 back in June. But that's it. That's really the only exposure that I have to this game. Other than the music. I, I really love this game's soundtrack. So... Uh, today, though, I am all Zelda'd up. I got my Zelda shirt. This isn't exactly a Link's Awakening shirt, but still one of my favorite Zelda shirts. It's from Symphony of the Goddesses. And um, if you don't know what that is, it's a traveling symphony that I don't think has any more tour dates anymore. So uh, that's kind of sad. But anyways, I, I, at least I have the memories, right? So Zelda shirts. I've also got this little guy. Hold on. This little guy. <laughs> Mika, this is for you. Our little keychain figure. I got this back when I was at, in California. When After I played the demo, they gave us this. So cute. It's adorable. I love it. I haven't actually put it on my keys yet because I don't want him to get dirty. I just want to preserve his cuteness for as long as I can. And in addition to that, I've also got this. <laughs> I couldn't help it, okay? He's so cute. Like everywhere you see him, he's adorable. So, um, yeah. Uh, I've got the amiibo, and as far as I can tell, the only real function that you get in-game is the ability to share and trade custom dungeons with your friends, which I don't know how much I'm going to be into the whole custom dungeons thing. Maybe if I'm able to play other people's creations, I'll get into it, but um, I don't know. So, should we open it? We should probably open it, right? Just for the sake of celebration and this awesome... Oh, I'm so excited to get into this game. It's weird because I'm never really super drawn into... Uh, 2D Zelda games, but for some reason, this one really caught my eye. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and crack it open right here. Look at that. I love how these amiibo boxes, they just come apart so cleanly and easily. Oh, God. He's really secured in there. Okay. There he is. There he is. There's our boy. Our hero. Kind of hard to see on this webcam if it would ever focus. <laughs> but there he is. I don't know, he's got like a little bit of a glossy finish over the entirety of the figure. That sword looks like way too big for him. He looks too small. I don't know, right? He looks a little small. There we go. That's way better. That's a way better camera focus. You can see like on the pedestal of the figure, it's the same pattern that you see with all the other Legend of Zelda amiibo. Super, super cool. And they did a really good job at keeping the sculpt very true to what the in-game model looks like. So, um, so yeah. I guess we'll use that later if the if the opportunity arises. So, I noticed a couple of you were saying that this is taking too long. That was just me hiding the fact that I was I just finished downloading the game. All right, it just finished. Surprisingly, this game is actually pretty chunky as uh, simplistic and cartoony as it looks. So, I'm going to go ahead and pack all that stuff away. We'll we'll save it for later. We'll sew it away. And let's go ahead and get started, right? So, um let's go ahead and open up our our thingy. Our thingy. And uh, get started. I'm so. This is so weird. I've never played a 2D Zelda game, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. But uh, one thing I haven't said yet is thank you all so much for tuning in. I uh, appreciate each and every single one of you, and I'm glad you're along for this ride because uh, I I actually do not know what to expect. Oh, holy cow! But I have seen this though, and I love it, and I'm like 100% okay with watching this again. Oh, this will probably be my first 2D Zelda too. Nice, be man. <laughs> Mika, <shh. laughs> oh, that is so pretty. I wish that. Okay, to my understanding, there's really not too many sequences that look like that throughout this game, which is a shame because it's so good looking. Whoever was the studio behind uh, th those animations really deserve some props. <laughs> Well, that was it, guys. Uh, Link died, and that was that was it. That was the game. <laughs> I've heard a lot about this character before. I've seen her in other Zelda games, too, or, like, hints to her. Oh, this game is so pretty, though. You guys, are you seeing this? 
Holy smokes! Giant egg on top of a volcano. You! <laughs> Nick, you're ridiculous, dude. Welcome to the stream, man. I'll get a shovel. Random glitch, welcome. Ah, listen to the music! We're about to go on a grand adventure! I'm so excited! I think Greza made this game. I don't know too much about the developers, honestly. Or anything about who's behind this game. I'll probably look that up whenever I, uh... Whenever I get around to beating this. So, I'm, I'm always the type, whenever I have three different options for save files, I always pick the middle one. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Take twice as much damage with Noah. Oof! Not doing that. Classic difficulty, please. Enter your name. Uh, I never really changed my name in Zelda games, so I'm just gonna keep it as Link. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it as Link. I've heard there's Easter eggs for, like, different names and stuff, but, um... I don't know. I'll come across those later. There's other save files that we could use. Me! Literally me! <laughs> I feel Link is awoken. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. Koholint Island. Interesting. It's Mario! <laughs> oh, look at how cute this is! Looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength will cut it rude. That was just a, a jab at my lack of physical strength. Is this a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. Is that hinting at, like, Piranha Plant amiibo compatibility? Okay. So... Whoa. This is so cool looking. It kind of reminds me of, like... What the heck? This kind of has, like, I, I, I might get some flack for this, but this, it kind of feels like, visually, um, what's that one game where you, like, cook Overcooked? It's got, like, an Overcooked mixed with Legend of Zelda vibe, and I love it. Because Overcooked has a really cute style, too. But this is, like, a, a league of its own, as far as character models and clarity and all that stuff goes. Anyways, let's go ahead and play the game. Why, why don't we just do that? <laughs> Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? All right, what's Mario doing here? <laughs> Marin and Terran, okay. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Oh, yes, thank goodness. Thank goodness we got our shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Its R style is clay-like. Yeah, it looks very toy. Like, very, very playset, right? Like, kind of like, exactly like you said, Mika. Exactly. It ver it's very much like a toy playset. Darren, is that your name? Stop lying. I know! Don't like being lied to! Whoa. I'm immediately noticing that... What the heck? So, back when I played the demo of this, the overworld, like where I am now, um ran at 30 frames per second, and the in inner parts of the uh, dungeons and the buildings ran at 60, but this is all running at 60 now. So that's a marked improvement from the demo that I played. That is really cool to see. Okay, let's, uh, should we explore? I don't know. I don't know, what, what, what do? What do you do in a 2D Zelda game? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's, uh, let's talk to people in town, I guess. Old Man Urira. How to say, please call outside. <laughs> it seems that old man Urira is a shy guy in person. Oh, he's making some stew? Can't look at it, but you know what, whatever. Oh man, this is really, I'm already sucked in and we're barely even like five minutes into this game. Um, okay, so that's my house. This, this little kid over here with the fox? Yip, yip. Okay, cool. Appa, yip, yip. Hey man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. You get there by opening the subscreen with the plus and then pressing R to get to the system screen. Don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. <laughs> system, there it is. Okay, cool. Cool. Help me, Fox! I know. All right, we can't do it. What's in here? This is like a stump house. Uh-oh, wait, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that, I'm gonna die. A phone? They have phones in the Zelda universe? 
It's me, Ulrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. You know, there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later, click. Wow, he just hung up on me, what the heck? What did I do to him? Wait, did it call him a shy guy? Is that what they hide behind the mask? <laughs> Find out on the next game theory, right? Oh my god, wow, that almost hit me. Can that chain chomp do damage? I don't want to find out. I have so many questions and I have so many things I want to try. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Who's this? Madam Meow Meow. <laughs> what a name. My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Chow Chow. There's Bow Wow, Chow Chow, and Mrs. Meow Meow. Hyrule has rotary phones. Interesting, right? I have a couple of questions about that now. But I feel like we'll never get answered. I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. But I don't understand what they mean by that. Bruh. How much more clear and concise can they be? So, Mabe Village. That's where we are. Memories. What are memories? Oh, so you can like... You can, like, play back dialogue you've seen before. Ooh, look at this map! This is- look, this looks pretty big! Oh my goodness, alright. Why are chain chops in this game? I don't know! I don't know! Okay, and you can, like, indicate chest. I don't know what you would use these other shapes for, but I guess I can come up with my own system. What's this kid- what's this kid have to say? You hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea! I'm just a- Oh, Jesus Christ. The kids know nothing in this town! They know everything and yet nothing at the same time. <laughs> what the heck? Bunch of books. Selecting the item that's right for you. Select your favorite items with the X and Y buttons are. Try many different things to find what's right for you. Okay. This is a bookshelf. What? You could see that? Okay. Well. These are very helpful tips. <laughs> all our kids know is let's see them aliens! Oh my god, dude. I've been watching all those updates today and it's just been hilarious. Untitled Goose Game just came out, nothing else matters! Hey, listen! This game matters too! Oh, I'm actually probably gonna get around to playing that too. I'm mildly excited about that one. You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying lens, but where would you get one of those? Maybe if you lend some people a hand, they'll lend you a lens. Ooh. Hints! I'm assuming all those other green books are just things that, like, teach me how to play the game, and I'm more the type to just kind of learn by, learn by experience, so we're just gonna keep traveling along the island here. Now, Marin, I'm tempted to call her Zelda just for the lulls, but we're gonna call her Marin for now. Marin said that we need to head to the beach because I think that's where she said our sword was or something? I guess we could go back and look at our memories, but who wants to do that? Ow! Oh, thought I could like bounce it back at him or something. Okay. Um. Now there's one, there's one cheesy thing. Cut! Okay, whatever. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to solve it, but this is what I did at the demo and I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> so, okay, we're on the beach now. Ah! I'm so, I'm. Why would you want to hurt me? Look at me. I'm adorable. Ooh, there it is. There it is. A sword. Hmm. You have no sword. You're defenseless. I know. They're taking cheap shots. You are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot! Hoot! He out. He said that, and then he's like, I'm a dip. All right. We're well equipped now. <laughs> All right. You found a sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Heck yeah, dude. Let's show these enemies who's boss. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go from here, though. 
Maybe I can talk to Marin again? He'll tell me the- she'll tell me where to go. Wait, hold on. Hold on! Where's my map? I could have sworn... Now I understand, so... Where- where do we find this windfish? Go north to Mysterious Forest. Okay, so we're going to the forest. But... I guess- I guess we'll just find our way if we go- if we go north, right? Where the, is, who, the monkey thorn! Oh, those are like nuts or something. I thought that was <laughs> something else. Um, who lives here? Mr. Briny? Hello? That's probably not Mr. Briny. Who's this guy? Oh my god, I love him! He's got a hat! <laughs> Sail? Is it Sail or Saleh? Sail. Welcome to Sail's House of Bananas. Sail, this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. <laughs> wow. What a way to spend your time. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. What's so strange about being an artist, I wonder? In in his eyes. He looks like a Dragon Tales character, lol. <laughs> so, okay. He's a member of the King K crew, Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Something's telling me DK reference. He looks very Donkey Kong-like, you know? What's this? Beware of sea urchins. Oh, wow. All the things I just killed. I gotta add him to the lore sheet. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Is there a way to, like, sprint in this game? Probably not, right? Woo! I forgot what button it was for a second. Okay, so B is my sword. Do none of the buttons do anything else? Sail had teeth. Yes, he did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, those are Gordos. True. True. Oh my god, you're right. That resemblance is uncanny. Cannot convince me that those aren't Gordos. With all the other references to other Nintendo franchises in this game, I wouldn't be surprised if those were even mildly inspired by Gordos, but... Wasn't this game made before Kirby and like how laboratories and all them formed? I don't know. I'm not sure what the timeline is there. Mysterious Forest. Okay, well that was that was pretty that was pretty easy, right? We just walked north and there it was. Okay. Does this owl have a name? All I see in the text is just, it just says owl. <laughs> Hoot. Oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island without the windfish while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Okay, so we need the key here, and then there's like a cave to this to the south. What the heck? Okay. Ooh, there's big baddies. Uh, I'm getting a lost right from this. <laughs> More like I'm getting, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get lost in this forest. I did in the demo and I feel like it's gonna happen again. I don't know if the demo build was any different though. It might've been designed that way. Woo! Look at me go, I'm insane. Tom Nook? No, I'm just kidding. Raccoon. Wow, these animals really don't have names. They're just raccoon, owl. <laughs> As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Well, good to know. I guess. I, I assume that's going to be a clue that we'll be able to use later. Is he, like, pounding? Is he drumming his belly? Oh my god, that's adorable. You're gonna be lost, thanks to me. Oh, wow! All right, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end that raccoon's whole entire, whole entire family tree. Where he at? <laughs> I'm ready to fight. <laughs> that was so rude. That was so rude. Here I am, just trying to find a key. Me out here being toxic. B man, you are so right. <laughs> you still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. All right, so I'm assuming this is, yeah, okay. We'll come back if we lose any hearts or anything. Whoa, this guy has a shield. What am I supposed to do? Ow. 
Oh, you like... Okay. See? That's my favorite way of learning how things work, is just doing it. I don't need no green books to tell me how to play. What is this? Beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. Alright, I guess this is gonna be like our first little puzzle, maybe? Looks like it. Uh... Oh, there's bats everywhere. Um... Ooh, we can just break that. Cool. Ah! How do I, uh... So... Levin, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh... Do I need to walk this way? Uh-oh. Aha! Key? Oh, just a rupee. Dude, those bats are toxic! They are. They are. I, I can't stand them. What the? This rock doesn't move anymore? Okay, I guess we'll go this way. So, do those blocks, they, they break if you stand on them for too long or too many times? Oh my god, there's another puzzle. Um... Hmm. How do we do this? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a gamble here. Can we break the skull? No! Alright, what if I can I reset it? <laughs> Perfect. Um Okay. Okay. They heal you if you stand on them. I'm not falling for that, Nick. Not that easily. Can I pull? Can I pull them? No. Uh, probably need to move the skull somehow. You think so? What if I like? No. Okay, let's try that again, I guess. I can't get to the other side, so we're gonna go out here, then we're gonna go back in. Uh, ooh, now we're on this side of the puzzle. Mm. Oh my god, what? This feels like it's so simple. Uh, alright. Time to reset, here we go again. I, I kind of want that uh, that heart piece. I feel like hearts are very valuable in a 2D Zelda game, no? Mm. Gotta move the skulls! Okay. I don't think I can, though. Maybe I just don't have the right item? Won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming there's like bracers or something that we get at some point. So, we'll we'll march and trek forward. Mushroom? What's this? You pick the toadstool as you hold it in your head over your head, a mellow aroma fills into your nostrils. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hmm. Don't want to go that way. Oh, I can only go this way. Right. Does this do damage or something? Or do I just like... Yeah, that does damage. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we got to go back this way. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Alec, you can jump? What? No, I can't! Uh... There's no jump button. No lie to me. Okay. Ooh, get shielded! Get shielded, I'm like a... Like a Hyrulean Brigitte over here. This 
forest is so twisty and windy. Ah, what the? Okay. Excuse me. Woo. Dude, you guys have no idea what items even exist in this game. I have no clue. Ooh. Man, this is more stuff that I need items for. Maybe I missed something. Maybe it's to the left? I saw there was like a fork in the road. No. What? Maybe it's... No, that's where we came from. Nerd, excuse me. Um... And this is where we come out of. Maybe it's... Whoa! Maybe it's down this way. This looks relatively new, right? I suppose that's the point of this area, is to kind of get you lost all over the place. Okay, this looks new. Yeah, so I think we're on the right track here. Dude, I'm taking so much damage. I'm out! I'm out! I'm getting bullied! Wait, no, this is where we... What? Alright, well... I don't know if that unlocks them or something, but... Boink. What the heck? Where am I supposed to go here? Oh my, there's so many. There's so many. I think I found the way. Never mind. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, but this is where the... Wow. Very sensitive to the silk and dust powder. Oh wait, am I supposed to am I supposed to use the mushroom on him? Maybe? I don't know, just a thought. Get out, get out of here. Hmm. I'm getting so many heart pieces too. Like little heart containers? Uh... Okay, so it's not this way. I'm also getting rich! Like, cutting down all this grass. <laughs> Magic, welcome to the stream, how are you doing? I'm here, hello. Hello. Uh... Ah! Did you guys see that, like, frame-perfect? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that frame-perfect pivot shield? <laughs> Coming up with random tech. Uh, oh wait, this is back to the island. Mm. Okay. So, is there like an items? Yeah. So, I feel like we're supposed to use something on this raccoon. Hmm. Killing up a goblin sounds like opening a door in Minecraft. <laughs> they stole it. They stole the sound effects. Okay, what is this? What am I supposed to do with the bizarre toadstool? I am confusion. In this entire family tree, here I go! I'm looking for him! I'm on patrol. I'm on patrol. I'm on patrol. Um. Okay. Not here, is it? Did I miss something? Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Maybe you take it somewhere to make powder? I think we just figured that out. Who's this? Witch. It has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up so we'll mix up something in a jiffy, we will. Wow. Well alright. I guess we I guess we solved the puzzle. He's got a pet rat too, that's so cute. It's all ready it is. Take care, as there's not much there. 
Why not try a bit in my hut? Got some magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus. And, oh, oh, we can set it. Okay. We do that. Then we'll set it to Y. Oh, okay. Okay. I never played this game, so I don't have anything to talk about. Lol. Well, what I've been kind of curious about with 2D Zelda games is really how they just compare to the 3D games that I've played before. I've played practically every single uh, 3D Zelda game, except for the entirety of uh, Wind Waker HD. Which, you know, I guess that doesn't really count. But if we're not counting that, then yes, I played every single mainline 3D Zelda game. And uh, never played a single 2D Zelda game before. I've heard they're good in the past, and I've heard a lot of friends and a lot of people that I know really enjoy them. So it's, it's interesting to be actually able to play through one for the first time ever. And based on the amount of time that we've been here, we haven't been here for too long. I'm uh, I'm kind of enjoying it. I don't know, it's, it's like, it's somewhat relaxing too. A piece of power! You feel the energy flowing through you. What the heck did... Am I buff now? Holy smokes! I'm one-hitting all these noobs! Where is this... Where is this... Raccoon? I'm ready for him. I'm... I'm... I'm okay. Here we go. Take that. <laughs> oh my god, what did we do to him? He's turning into a zombie! Uh, I'm not gonna watch much because I'm getting in, in I'm getting it in a few minutes, so yeah. It's nice seeing you though, Alec. I left the like and we'll be on my way. SVA, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, the last thing, says Taryn, I can remember, was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then, I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Wow. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't eat the weird mushrooms in the forest. <laughs> yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun kidding me dude you just left me on this like 20 minute journey through this mysterious forest all because you you decided to play a practical joke oh what the heck is this tail key now you can open the tail cave gate oh here we go here we go we're making some actual progress now this is exciting good luck alec heading out have a good one nick thanks for tuning in dude i appreciate you i will let you know my thoughts as soon as we actually beat this game take the key and go to the tail cave Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Oh boy. So, is the windfish like a character you actually see in this game, or or what? I don't think I've ever actually seen character art for for a windfish. Oh, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally experience a 2D Zelda game. This is so cool. All the visuals and like the notable performance improvements with this game are blowing me away right now. It's just so, it's so easy to get immersed into this world. So, okay, we're going south. There's a cave somewhere. I mean, the, the way Link waddles too is just the, the cutest freaking thing. We got nuts, a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. The blur is hurting my eyes. I don't mind it much, because that's really not where my focus is most of the time when you're playing. But I guess as a spectator, it can be kind of distracting. Oh! We found it! Okay. Why do I... Why does this feel like... Phantom Hourglass. Why does this look like the, the the bird hat thing that Link has on his head in the Phantom Hourglass games? Another 2D Zelda game I've never played. Or Mi Minish Cap! Yeah, I think that's what it's from. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to walk past these things and assume I don't need to touch them. Oh my god, I just killed him. Oh my god, this music is so pretty. What the heck? Small key, you can open any locked door. Well, I'm assuming that's gonna be somewhere this way, right? Oh my god, this is a flat out dungeon! Hey, I'm a fan- I'm a fan of 3D Zelda games, okay? I will admit, I know absolutely nothing about the 2D ones, but... We're making progress, right? This is my first one. 
Oh my god, he just backed himself into the hole. Lumao. Get destroyed, noob. Um. Okay, what, what is this? It's giving us so many things. We've gotten a sword, shield, a key, a cha- like a- the, the key to the gate? We've gotten, like, potions? So much stuff is happening so quick! I can barely- I can barely keep up. What the heck? Whoa! Can't dodge me forever. Can't dodge me forever! Are Zelda and Mario in the same universe or something? Why do they have the same enemies? This is like- I think this is a special case. Because I don't believe that Chain Chomps and stuff show up in any other Zelda game, to my knowledge. Oh, I just got booped. Oh my god! It's in here, Papyrus. All right, we're moving, moving right along. Aha, I am big brain. <laughs> oh my god. He's got Luigi style of mustache. Yeah, true. It's a little bit more Luigi than it is Mario, but they are brothers, you know? Stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder where it could be. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Wait, what? Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. The spined ones. Spined ones. What? Cytrix, welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? What is that? I'm taking this and running. Another key! Doing homework and still doing it? Oof! Ah, uh, I'm so sad to hear that, Dark Angel, but... The more progress you make, the more closer it is to being, uh, being over. Oh my god, I'm, I'm out. I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going! I'm so low on health now, too. Oh my god, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Give me a heart. Oh, thank God. Give me a heart. No! There's spinies in this game, too. They're everywhere. They're, there's, like, different references to other Nintendo games everywhere. There's a door that you can't open. Move a square block. Move a square... Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Whoa! Woo! Bye. Turn aside the spined ones with the shield. Well, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. It gave us the staircase immediately. Did Alligat die yet? No, we haven't died yet. Oh my god, look at these Goombas. They look so goofy. What the heck? All right, listen here. Listen here. I thought I was going to be able to jump on them from on their head from the ladder. I guess we have to do it the old fashioned way. With my trusty sword. Goombas? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know how to explain this at all. What the? I want that. Ah, get outplayed. What's this? Rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. All right, I'm assuming we equip this. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Trusty and the rusty. My god, I love it so much. I have a new favorite catchphrase. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, I see you, game. You're giving me jumping capabilities now. I dig it. Okay, so now there are other parts of this dungeon. Oh, look at us go. We can, we can... Are you kidding me? Is there like a slope there or something? That was weird. Now we can make it across some of the gaps that we were missing earlier in this dungeon. Oh my god, uh -huh, that thing is so weird and creepy. Okay. Okay. Mission accomplished. Oh, that jumping me. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to try to fight myself to not spam that. That's so that's so cool how he does like a front flip. Whee! What are we gonna see next? Bowser has kidnapped Princess Zelda and Koopa the Quick wanna race you? Oh my god. 
What's that dude's name from Mario Sunshine that wants to race all the time? P. It, it starts with a P. Ah! This thing's weird looking. What the heck? This doesn't even look like a Zelda enemy. This thing looks like uh, what? What are those? It's um, Yo Gabba. He looks like a rejected Yo Gabba Gabba character. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage! There we go. LP on TC mode, that's what it is. That's what it is. What the heck was that thing? Do you guys see that? Okay, well we got a fairy out of it, I suppose. Oh. What is this supposed to do? Hmm. I, I'm really curious too what this powder is supposed to be useful for. It seems like it's only been really suggested to just use it for the use it for the raccoon guy. Uh oh. That's kind of creepy. <gasps> well, rejecting Yo Gamma Gamma character, amazing. Yo, John, welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing? You can open the door with the nightmare key. Where is the nightmare key? I am literally crying and shaking. Where is it? Oh, you're just, wow. I could have sworn I stood there for a second last time. So this takes us back to the beginning. But where are we supposed to, this way? Hey, stop bullying me. Skeletons hanging on chains, isn't that nice? Yeah, totally. Totally not creepy at all. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! I got ambushed! Ooh, piece of power. Heck yeah. One hit, everything. We got a compass. Sweet. So, I'm pretty sure I picked up a map. Why don't we just reference that for a little bit, right? Where is it? Um, map. Let's see. So, obviously there's the boss. Where we've explored. We're, I guess we're trying to get here, right? Where or, or how? Well, maybe here? That door's locked also. Let's mark it with a, with a heart. Let's mark this one with a chest because it's a chest. <gasps> Ugh. This is so fun. This little jumping mechanic. It's just like total, a totally simple thing. It's just increased my enjoyment of this game even more than it already was. Even more than I was already enjoying it. Where are we? Okay. We go up one here. And then somewhere this way, maybe? How the hecky? There's like a broken wall there. Uh. I'm out. Uh. Hmm. How are we supposed to get up there? Uh, Yeah, I think we need bombs, but I haven't come across any yet. Maybe it's this way? Oh! Okay, that doesn't do nothing. What? What is that sound? What is that? Like when I walk here, what? What am I supposed to do? Hmm. All right, I'm out of here, bats. I'm jumping. I'm front flipping away from my problems. Woo! Oh, this is a bad idea. That was a bad idea. What am I? What am I, what am I doing? I'm so low now. So does that indicate that you're close to? Like a key item or something? Anyway, we got the nightmare key, so that's a that's a cool thing that happened. Ugh. All right. Well, um, hopefully we don't die on the way to the on the way to the entrance here. Got to play very very carefully. We'll take damage from nobody. Not even you, Mr. Skeleton. Okay. Whew. 
Uh, I know. I think I'm, I'm going the wrong way. It's this way. What? I'm locked out. Oh, it's this way. Wow. Wrong door. Wrong door. My bad. My bad. But now you can go to the. I swear to God. To the boss door and challenge the boss. I guess because we don't have bombs for that other thing. We're full health and everything. We're Gucci. Oh, wait, wait, you can... What? You can attack midair? That's awesome. That is so cool. All right, where's the... Where are we going? Oh, wait, what the... I was going the right way the whole time. Wow. Wow. This way! I'm ready to square up! Boss? What? Ooh! Okay, well. That was a cheap shot. I'll give you that one. Alright. Here we go. You think you can mess with me? The hero of time? Why does this look like a, a boxing glove from arms? <laughs> you guys know which one I'm talking about, right? Moldorm. Moldorm. Hmm. Wonder where we're supposed to hit this thing. Yeah! Oh my god, I might actually die here. Jesus! That thing goes so fast! He's like a he's like an angry Roomba. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah! How's he not dead? Wow! Wow! Boss clearly doesn't end here by the three, the rule of three for boss fights. Okay. Okay. Amber, you've, it's clearly an angry Roomba. Clearly. With the mops on the bottom and everything. I just think you need to get better at maybe identifying Roombas, Jibra. Straight up looks like a Mario and Luigi boss. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh my god. This puzzle again. I hate all of you. Oh my god. Oh! I'm getting too antsy! Alright. What the heck? Wow. Out of all the places to give me problems. What the? I'm really about to make me lose my marbles. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Am I in the right spot? No. This is this way. Uh, uh. Have you ever thought about buff Pac-Man? Buff Pac-Man. I've thought about Pac-Man and... Whoa! I keep forgetting that's right at the doorway. Hee hee hee! All right. Round two, let's go. You think you could keep me down that easily? <laughs> you must be joking. You gotta be kidding me with this performance. This is just a disgrace, I swear. Bring it, bring it. I can pick you up on Amazon for like $300. Actually, how much are Roombas these days? I don't even know. Oh! Thing goes so quick! But you know, now that you mention it, he kind of does look like a hamburger. Like, just the bun specifically. Oh my god! What HP! I don't know what just happened. I just fell into the depths of nowhere. Does he stay the same HP? Can I go up there and just smack him once and he dies? I hope so. Probably not though. Okay. Bun and lettuce! I'm dying to this bun and lettuce! Okay. That's one hit, right? Now we wait, now we wait. Oh my god. Two, two. Yeesh! Right, calm down a little bit. Three. Oh my god! 
Run, Link, run with your stubby little feet! Woo! <laughs> Literally, Gibran says, let's get this bread. This bread bun has been defeated. This hamburger helper. It's not hamburger helper. It's, not, it's just a hamburger bun. Heart container acquired. Heart container acquired. Now we have a bigger health pool. More damage to take. What? A violin? Link plays violin? You know, when I said rule of three, Mika, that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not what I was hoping for. Wow, that's kind of magical. I don't know my violins. It's a cello, you're right. Or what are they called? Like, uh... Like, I don't know my string section is what it is. Path opens in the blooms. The game is interesting. Okay. A path opens in the blooms. In the blooms. It's like... Straight up... Solving riddles here. I'm going to assume... We head to the prairie somewhere. What the? Oh, is this the owl? He doesn't even have a name. That's so sad. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. <laughs> the talking owl says he doesn't believe I'm real. Okay. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Guponga Swamp. Hoot indeed. <laughs> He's a fancy owl. <gasps> Alright. So, we head north. Yeah! Holes aren't gonna stop me now. Battle Buff ain't got nothing on this. What's going on over here? Why are they... What? It's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Oh my god. All right. I'm about to end their entire career. A whole gang of Moblins, you say? And it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house, and then they did something to Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m m Moblins. So, I mean... Ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay, true. These kids are so useless. They can't tell me anything, but they're also telling me everything at the same time. All right, we're inspecting these houses. Do we prioritize Bow Wow's house? Yeah, probably, right? Where's your chain chomp? What the? Everything looks hunky-dory in here, what the heck? All right, let's get the scoop. What's going on? What's going on, Meow Meow? My Bow Wow was dog-napped. Oh, that's why, okay. Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. All right, I'm on the case, lady. Oh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to hit the fox. <laughs> Whoops. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Oh my God. This chain chomp's all about fashion. Bow Wow is precious, we must protect Bow Wow! These heathens! Where did they go? Where'd they take them? Hmm? Hmm? Marin, what do you know? Marin's taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. Oh, t uh, Marin just straight up doesn't care then. Okay. It makes me want to sing the song. Yes, the song is Ballad of the Windfish. Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh, I love it. I love it. I kind of wanted to sit here and listen to her sing. Oh, well, wow, Shadow's in the game. <laughs> I would save Bow Wow instead of Zelda. What? You can tell Marin is the precursor to Malin. <laughs> True. True, she's like Malin Light. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, B-Man. I don't understand Persona references. So, where am I supposed to... 
Okay, I'm assuming that they took Bow Wow to the forest, because that's where we saw them last. We were fighting a bunch of moblins up in here. I'm ready to square up. Where are you at, hmm? hmm? You want some of this? Yeah, that's right. I ain't scared. Boom. We did. Just like that. Oh, wow, that does twice the damage. Where is Bow Wow? You heathens! All blue. Feels nice to have four hearts, four hearts now. Get outplayed, physically and mentally. Oh! It's nice that those don't do damage, though. <laughs> Where is Bow Wow? Ooh, that's a good name. Owl the Owl. I like it. Oh my god, I missed my jump. Wow. Easy peasy! Cool. Alright, well that's taken care of. So... Where, oh where, has our little chain jump gone? Hmm. Owl the Owl. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Let's go to be dropping by and be playing Goose Game. Yo, Alexander, tell me how it is. I want to pick it up, too. I'm interested in that game. I don't know if I'm going to be playing it um, soon. I'll probably, I'll, pick, I'll probably pick it up and stream it, like, after we're done with Link's Awakening. Which, from the sounds of it, doesn't seem like it would take so long. Because a lot of people are telling me that the game is very short. This one is. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. All right, I searched all throughout this mysterious forest, and I still have yet to see any sign of Bow Wow. Miss Meow Meow, you have some explaining to do. Oh! Oh my God, I dare these moblins to try me with I have this piece of power. <laughs> He's got yeeted. I'll tell you how the game is after you beat Hollow Knight. Oh my God. I hope Marks finds you and screams from your closet at 3 a.m. I heard the Goose game is also very short. Well, it's the season of short games, it seems. I hope Luigi's Mansion isn't like that, though. Okay, I'm just sitting here in the forest cutting, cutting down grass and getting rich, but we need to find Bow Wow. So we're gonna head this way. And I'm going to go interrogate Miss Meow Meow more. Bow Wow, Meow Meow. So many owls. I've heard good things about this game. I haven't actually played it or even really seen too much gameplay. I just remember the initial launch trailer. Or, sorry, the initial reveal trailer a while ago. Unknocked by Moblins. So she doesn't really give us much information here, so I guess we're left to our own devices on this one. <laughs> DJ Riolu, how are you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Did you pick up Link's Awakening? We're having so much fun right now. So, not this way. When the Overwatch for the Switch already? October 15th. Attention, everybody. Overwatch for Switch on October 15th. All right, kids. Share with me some useful information for once. Oh my god. Just give me the scoop. I must have the scoop. Like me what's when it's October 9th? What's on October 9th? Uh I hope the night comes and abyssal strikes and shrieks in your closet at 3 a.m. That's only something you would understand if you played Hollow Knight. Oh boy. Well, you know what, Alexander? I hope Grunty comes and transforms your sister into an ugly old hag. That's something you would only understand if you played Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> oh, maybe it's... maybe is it this house? No. I can't get over there because I can't lift the rocks. What the heck? What the heck? Well, well, 
I'm at a loss as to where we're supposed to be searching here. Oh my god, I'm so addicted to this jumping mechanic. This is so fun and I can't tell you why. Check the houses maybe? I checked this one. I checked my own house. I checked Meow Meow's house. Is it maybe in this one? The only one of the only other houses I haven't checked yet? Taryn, wake up! What are you doing? You're throwing! Oh, I guess we could call the old man. That's right. That's a good point. That's in, like, the little stump house, right? This one? Alright. Maybe he'll have the scoop. Maybe he's part of the neighborhood watch. Well, most moblins live in the mysterious forest, but some live in the caves of Talatal Heights. I hope that is what you wanted to know. Click! Oh boy. The Telltale Heights. Is that on our map yet? That's the, actually the song that we were playing before the stream started today. Really awesome soundtrack. Uh... Telltale Heights. It doesn't look like we've unlocked it yet. Maybe we just... Maybe we just progress into the new area and maybe we'll see the moblins along the way? I don't know. What the? Who's this? Fisherman. All right, let's go fishing, guys. Let's go fishing. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on your line by moving left stick. If you want to reel it in in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. All right, well, let's give this a try. How am I supposed to get this fish's attention? Oh. Now we wait. Yes, yes! Look at my line! <laughs> my Mario Party days have trained me for this moment! Alright. You reeled in a big fish! It's so heavy that you wish you'd caught something lighter. <laughs> A 32.26 inch fish. That's a lunker! Just like Rusty. Nice one. That's worth 26 rupees, easy! For landing a lunker, I'll set you up with a new lure. Oh, wow. Wow. We are out here climbing the ranks of the fisher world, fisherman world. Got the middleweight lure. The fish a little deeper down will love this one. First time you landed one this size, huh? Let's mark the occasion with a piece of heart! Oh, heck yeah, dude! Heck yeah! I thought well, we need like one more. One more to make another heart container? Let's keep going. Oh wait, was I supposed to switch to the other rule? Or the other lure? Wowie. Alright. I did have to, have to get food. What's going on? Right now we are looking for Miss Meow Meow's uh ch pet chain chomp, since it's been dog napped, as she said. So, there's a couple of moblins around town, somewhere in this world, that... Are you kidding me? I just got baited. I got baited by the thing I'm trying to bait. I'm appalled. Alright. Notice me! This fishing pole has some weird physics to it. <laughs> Not today, mister! <laughs> that face link makes us hilarious. 23.7? Nah, that's no biggie. 17 rupees. At least we're making a profit, though. We're gonna change some lures. Go deep sea fishing. Right, we're gonna throw it way out there. Then we're just gonna let this fall all the way to the floor. Ah. <sighs> Link definitely doesn't have teeth. Oh no, 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 no! Oh no, no! Not like this! I don't like where that, that sentence is going. What the heck? A bottle? Hey! That fish just ate my bottle! What the heck? Alright. I'm gonna catch this fish and make him into a nice... Make him into a nice fish taco for doing that to me. Let's see. 
Maybe, do I have to like catch the fish? And then it gives me the bottle because it's in his mouth? Oh my god, just look at the lure. Just look at it. Oh, Mario Party butt mashing! Oh my god. You are the worst fish that's ever been spawned into my shores. Okay. Oh, no problem, Works. Thanks for hanging out with us, dude. Unless... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. All right, you know what? You know what? I think we have bigger fish to fry. So I think we're just gonna catch whatever, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Go, uh, go find out more of the mystery of Mr. Bow Wow. It isn't the raid tomorrow. No, it's today. Are you not raiding Area 51? This is the real raid, Timmy. Also, welcome to the stream. It's been a while! Oh my god! Welcome back. Good to see you again. Um... I'm getting caught in this fish's mouth. Oh! <laughs> what?! You could just find pieces of heart in these fish's mouths? The heck? Okay, well that's kind of what I wanted all along, so... Uh, cool. We'll uh, go ahead and call it a call it a day for now in our fishing career. Interesting, interesting. How many? We have three. I could have sworn we had four by now. All right. Well, anyway, um, what are we doing? Going back to the mysterious forest. Going back to the new area. That's right. So we're just gonna front flip. We're gonna somersault our way through through this forest. Make it to where are we going? Koholind Prairie. That's where we're going. Ow. Abuse! Oh wait, there's a heart piece in here. I don't know if I can get it though. Hmm. It's like in the other exit though. Yeah, never mind. I don't think I can get it because of the uh like the really heavy rocks or whatever. I don't have the the item to Lift them. I think we'll come back for that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Heck yeah. D Timmy, I don't know what that means, but I keep seeing that acronym all over the place, and I feel lost. <laughs> I feel lost. I don't know. Can someone explain what that means? I need translation. The wind fish in name only, or it is neither. What? The ball wasteland, okay, okay. The photo editing app? What? Photo editing app. So how does that relate to like a person? All right, what we got here? The Punga Swamp. Oh, we're supposed to go this way, right? I can't remember hearing the owl talk about the Punga Swamp. We can't get there because I don't have the freaking. Ah! Okay. Hmm. Go check out this cave, I guess. I'm assuming this is where they took Mr. Bow Wow, because it's got the Moblin's head on the top of the top of the entrance and everything. Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Are you seriously defending this fortress by yourself? Nah, I'm with my boys. Let's get him. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm kind of just like talking out of my... <laughs> I'm like, I'm just kind of talking out and thinking out loud. Today has been a very long day and I have very little sleep. So this is the Alec that you get today. <laughs> It's just a fad? Sister said she is one and I'm scared. I don't get it. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Oh boy. Listen to this guy. What the hecky? What the? Oh, no! 
Wow, all right. Uh... Oh my god, that's frightening. What? Where is the- what's the strat there? Somebody who posts images in the cells edited on the map Visco? They are typically depicted as scrunchy wearing hydro flask bearing humans. Oh no. <laughs> scrunchy wear Hydro flasks are practical though! Right? I <sighs> But like those are those are nice things to have. <laughs> what? Alright, figured it out. I guess I just hit him from the wrong angle or something. I don't know why that didn't OW! Oh, that must explain it. I don't really use Instagram. Yeet! Yeet! Honestly, aside from memes, I've met a lot of disco girls and they're really nice lol. <laughs> well, you know, as long as they're as long as they're nice, right? Alright, let's free Mr. Bow Wow. Uh Oh, we just talked to him. You say Bow Wow, what a fearsome beast! Heck yeah, dude. Bring him back to Miss Meow Meow. It feels weird saying all these Bow Wow, Meow Meow, Chow Chow names, like <laughs> I don't know, it just it just sounds odd. Alright. Back to the village we go. Oh man, the game's really gonna make me walk all the way over there. Unless, unless... That is a fearsome looking animal you have there! Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gaponga Swamp. <sighs> Thanks for that, but I have no idea how to clear those rocks out of the way. Was that Dompe? I'm getting sidetracked, hold on. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be back, hold on. I'll be back, Dompe. Alright. Ah! Don't follow me, Chain Chomp! <laughs> Whoops. Okay, cool. Bow Wow can jump. Thank goodness. <gasps> Bow Wow attacks for me! Neat! Oh, yeah! Can I keep Bow Wow? Oh my god. That Moblin just got eight! Oh my goodness! This is nuts! Heading back this way, right? Oh my god. He's just eating their entire population. Ah! But at least they're dropping money, so... <laughs> There's that. 420 Bill, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing? Oh my god. I love Bow Wow. My favorite. Alright, where'd she go? Let's, let's, let's chain him up here. Right? Or no? Do we go inside? Ah... Uh... So happy you brought my baby back. Aww. Now, would you be a deer and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks! Did I just get handed an errand involuntarily? Take, take him out for a walk? Are you kidding me? You just made me walk all the way back to this village just to say, not yet? Oh my god. All right, well, listen here, Miss Meow Meow. I've had enough of this. I'm just gonna use Bow Wow to my advantage for a little bit. How did Bow Wow get kidnapped again, considering he can swallow Moblin's whole? Right? What's the problem here? I don't get it. How did that even happen? Look at this. He just stands there for a couple seconds and then yoink. Oh my god. He's eating people as, as I'm walking. Dig? What the? You mean dig? What the heck? You guys see that dialog box? What? Oh my goodness! Ah! Alright, we're gonna go speak to Dompe now. Now that bat now that Miss Meow Meow has apparently just wasted my time walking all the way back. Oh my god, I fell through that hole again. We're gonna just go have, have a chat with Dompe and see what's going on. 
You still digging graves? Still grinding out there in the grave digger world? That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. Oh no. I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. Okay, well, let's go to the shack, I guess. Uh... <laughs> I love that Bow Wow's just with me. I don't know if he's supposed to be here or not, but it looks really goofy. Don't leave me waiting too long. Take care of my other business? Do I have to return Bow Wow then? Jump in the well? In the well? Ooh! Perfect jump and everything. Oh my god. Bow Wow, you gotta relax. You gotta chill out. Yeah, I think I, I'm, ass I'm assuming we're gonna be getting a shovel at some point. Whoa. Whoa. There's so much to explore in this game. What the heck? How is there more? I have like the Bow Wow quest going on. We just talked to Dompe. Now there's like this new area. Oh my God, there's so much. So many dead trees, too. Jesus. Okay, um... I have my evening tea. I am ready. That sounds so good. Like, not tea, because I'm not much of a tea person, but like... Just curling up in like a blanket. And watching some really good television. You know? Maybe not even television, just like curling up with like a good game, right? Kind of like this. Huh. I guess that's kind of what we're doing right now, isn't it? <laughs> Why does it keep saying dig in this spot? Hmm. Oh god. I don't think he can break rocks. I don't think so either. I guess we can stand in this spot and just wait. But... I don't, I don't think that's the case here, so I'm just gonna keep moving. What am I supposed to do with Bow Wow? Miss something at Dompe's shack? Maybe, maybe a there is a shovel I can grab or something. I'm gonna go check that really quick. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna try and take him home. Oh, you can't cut signs anymore. <laughs> I used to love doing that in Ocarina of Time. Uh, here we are. Here we go. So, can I just take this or what? No? They posted here. He's okay, so he's literally just not giving me a shovel at all. Nah. Some random person just texted me trying to sell me a mattress. Well, is it a good deal? Because <laughs> it might be worth taking him up on that. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah, you just you just keep doing your thing, Bow Wow. I'm I'm gonna be around here exploring and stuff. Yep, he's just eating people. <laughs> That's just the way it is. You guys ever watch that one episode of King of the Hill where uh, Boomhauer? Or no, is, is it Boomhauer? I can't remember his name. But, like the conspiracy theorist guy, he finds like his new defense mechanism. It's like pocket sand. That's what I just did to Dompe. I get it, Bow Wow. Don't worry, I'm gonna take you home now. Do you just find, like, random pieces of power like this? Do you just randomly spawn? Is that the way it is? Oh my- 
Whoop. Wait, no, I think you, somebody told me to do this anyway. Oh! Yay! We have our fifth heart container! <laughs> Yo, that was actually pretty pretty hype there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting like another dungeon or something. Uh Okay. Go go back. Go back to where you where you belong, Bow Wow. Oh my god, we can dig in here too? What the heck? I deeply dislike King of the Hill. Why? Also, Stranger Danger. True. <laughs> True. Take him for a walk, but where? <gasps> the bottom of the well was terrifying in Ocarina of Time, Morks. You are not alone on that one. Where do we take this hecking chain jump? Uh, talk to phone dude, I guess. Phone dude, Olrira, is our Google search for this game. When we're stuck, we just call him up and he tells us what to do. Hopefully. Oh. We're supposed to go to the swamp, but there's, there's like rocks. There's a, uh, there's like rocks covering the entrance, no? Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> it's not a game, what the heck? <laughs> How am I supposed to know what a JPEG is? I'm just trying to look at pictures of a god dang hot dog. Can you go east? Uh, a little bit? Oh. But, uh, not, not super far east. That's the wrong way. Almost this way. King of the Hill is an anime. <laughs> I've said this before, but I've heard someone describe King of the Hill as the Texas anime, and I can't get over that. <laughs> It'll forever be stuck in my mind that way. But like... I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I can't... I can't get past the rocks. The Ponga Swamp, but... I can see the flowers that Bow Wow's supposed to eat too. Which I guess indicates to me that Bow Wow is going to be sticking around for a while. But where are we supposed to find this this item that we probably need? That is the question. All right, Olrira. I need a little bit more hints than that. Hmm. Sprinkle it on stuff. Maybe we should sprinkle it on the rocks? I don't know. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Uh, does it work on... Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna see if it was gonna work on that enemy, but never mind. Throw dust on the pickle thing? I was gonna... Tr what the... Why did it turn into... Larry from VeggieTales? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I'm at a loss right now. Um, what do the ghosts do? Oh, it just clears out, clears out grass. It doesn't do anything to the ghosts. Ah. Maybe, maybe we should do some exploring. I don't know. Let's just poke our nose around, around the surrounding area and see what we come across, I guess. So not used to the pacing of these 2D Zelda games. It's like very different than the very linear and obvious paths you're supposed to take in 3D. Except for Breath of the Wild. I'll give it to Breath of the Wild, it's very open world. Oh my god. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... Ooh. 
Ooh, a heart piece. Whee! The trees have faces, I know they do, they're spooky. Um... There's somebody, somebody's house is over here. Whoa, I got stuck there for a second. Uh, yo, Shark Guy, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to our community, my friend. Uh, these things look like chatots for some reason. E uh, yo, got the comp? You what comp? What comp? Uh, hmm. Dude, I don't know where to go. Let's consult our map. Telltale Heights. Huh? But how to get there? Why is this part of the map even exposed, I wonder? Witch's Hut. Huh. Maybe, maybe we go down to the beach again? I actually have no clue. Um. Yeah, we need like bracers or like uh, a pair of gloves or something. But Orira said to to bring Bow Wow this way. You want to know something weird? I'm pretty sure I ended up getting the key item that you need for moving the rocks in the demo that I was in for this game. So I'm pretty sure I've gotten them before, or gotten it, whatever it is. the powder on the digging spots? Uh... Okay. We've been okay. Uh... Listen here! You're standing on my spot! Nothing. Nothing. Um... Cello that produces a pure, clear sound? Like, the cello doesn't do anything. It seems like it's more just a key item than an actual item you can use. Oh, uh -huh. is the Ori demo out, Al Alexander? Uh, I'm genuinely lost right now. <laughs> I think it's pronounced Tall Tall. I think it's pronounced Tall Tall Heights. Could be. Could be. I don't know. It looks like Tall Tall to me. That's how I've been pronouncing it. Ah. Uh, Kirby knows are not about are not are not able to type. What a sad existence to be. But you are also a Kirby, so I guess that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Does anyone have any ideas here? Actually, maybe we need to like uh. Jeez, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, poke around some more, I guess. Oh my god. So... God, that is frightening. <laughs> what is your goal? Right now, we're trying to get to... this swamp over here. Like, this little section, but I can't. Because these rocks are blocking the way. Looks pretty heavy, you won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. But... Ah, like, I don't know. Did I miss something? Who even is this? Why does it have, like, a weird aura around it? Can I jump up here? No. Is 
So, if it's behind those flat, then how are you supposed to get there in the first place? Oh my god, the payoff for this is going to be so legendary, because this is we've been looking for this thing for so long, it feels like. Alright, maybe we have to come at the at this place from a different angle. Maybe it's like this way or something. It'd be like right here, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, wait, no, oh, no, I thought I was onto something, never mind. I was about to be so happy. <laughs> Cause it's funny looking, John, okay? What the, wow. I think I just figured it out. <laughs> I think I just figured it out, hold on. What was this guy? Mr. Wright. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Mr. Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad, what the heck? Oh, I want to write him a letter. And that just kind of made me sad for no reason. Okay, well, um, moving right along, I guess. Do your thing, Bow Wow. There you go. Moblins ain't no problem. He's got tangled around the rock. That was weird. All right. He's like from SimCity Folk or something. Ah, uh, I've never played SimCity actually. And okay, that's another thing we'll need these like gloves or something for. Can we jump across here? Oh, I missed my jump! I mean, these jumps is so much harder than it looks. Oh wow, yay, 20 rupees. Glad I came in here. Whee! <laughs> okay. Well, that's taken care of. I'm gonna climb up this way now. Thank goodness Bow Wow can climb as well. Music! The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. These these are such cryptic messages. Alright, uh, this way. Yep, yep. Cool. Oh, uh, well, I was just gonna eat everything. I'm down with it. What's this? Cool Rira? Make another phone call. Let's see what happens here. The ingestible flowers. Oh, oh we already we already know this. We already know this. I think the owl statues are warp points, are they? You think they're marked on the map or something? Uh... I don't see them. I'm sure we'll find a use for them at some point, probably. Alright, can we jump in the water? Let's try. Yes. The answer is yes. Oh, perfect! Yes! Eat it all! Eat it all, Bow Wow! Oh, he's, he's got his eyes on that fish over there. Yikes. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's probably why you don't attack them yourself. Oh my god, he just ate that giant- Wow. Nothing is beyond Bow Wow's stomach abilities. Thank you. Can I just have Bow Wow for the rest of the game? Like, this is so useful. <gasps> what the heck? Oh, we're supposed to go this way. Hungry boy! Hungry boy! So many piranhas! There you go, there you go! Thankfully these spikes are nothing like the Mario Maker 2 spikes, or else I'd be getting hit non-stop. Alright. Card container, and we are well on our way! Ow. I don't think he even has a stomach. True. Where does where do the things that he eats where where do they go? <laughs> Just another another question about Mario characters that I you really don't want to think about for too long. Wow. He just chowed down on him. Okie dokie. Level two, bottle grotto. Wow, I can't even lift up these pots. Are you kidding? Sad. Just sad. Uh. I'm gonna assume we go this way. Okay, no. This way? 
No. And we do this, right? No. Yeah. Oh! Big brain. Big brain! Moving right along, we got skellies! Ah! That one does like a, like a ground pound! He's stealing Mario's from, right from Mario's playbook. Okay, got a key. Cool, cool. There's shy guys in this game! What the? How am I supposed to? Oh wait, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think. I don't know now. Uh... He does mirror me, but... I feel like you're supposed to pick these up or something? Whoops. Uh... Maybe I'm supposed to get him this way? Or maybe... Ow! Maybe... We're supposed to both be on the same side of the room. On those little platforms. Maybe that's what we're going. Well, maybe that's what's going on. Uh... This doesn't work. Hmm. Alright, we'll come back to that. It's, it's a shame I had to use my key to open that, but whatever. You don't have the... Oh, true. Yeah, that might be what it is, too, Mika. Beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. Need to find that piece of beak. Uh... Uh, what the heck? The little old Grim Reaper right next to me! Just grab the key and ski! Yama! Ooh. Ten powder? Heck yeah. Okay. These are also Okay. Small key, another small key. Assuming we go this, this, right? And then this. Oh, this is so hard. So just little room for air. Uh Anything? Any reward? No. Monkey! Hmm. Another puzzle. Hmm. Do we have to defeat this thing? Ow. Ah! I don't know what to do there. Hmm. Hmm. Put the beak on the beakless statue, but I don't have a beak yet. Wait, what? Oh, la, 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 la. We just, uh... We can't push anything. We can't push or lift anything without this item that we're missing. Uh... I don't think I can actually do anything here. So you chose the Silver Goose game. Huh? Powerful. Welcome to the stream, dude. Um, now I'm actually choosing both. We will most likely be streaming that game, too. Um, just only after we're done with this one. Whoa! 
because I'm actually uh, pretty darn excited for that game too. Mostly, I feel like it's mostly just excited curiosity, but I want to play it nonetheless. Uh, oh, can't jump over that. That's frightening, by the way. Yeet. Mm, the this is where that shy guy is. This way takes us back here, and there's nothing this way, right? Oh wait, no, we have a key. I forgot. <laughs> god. Oh my god. This game is a masterpiece. Everyone should play, and it's only fifteen dollars too on on release. It's like uh, on sale, right? Discounted. That's pretty cool. Man, right when I walk into that room, it just kills you. I'm kind of glad, though, that this game is a lot more forgiving than I thought it was going to be. Because a lot of games from this era were just so ruthless with checkpoints and game overs and stuff. Requiring you to use so much backtracking in so much of the same dungeon just because you die once. Okay. Well, nothing here. This thing. This thing. See ya. Oh, okay, now we have a beak. Found a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Cool. We are piecing this together. Oh, uh. Yeah, right? Here's the beak. Give me heart container. Ow! The heck? Ow! That was actually just entirely rude. Okay, let's see. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining... Wow. Y you don't say. You don't say. I think we get some more magic back. What? Steal anything? I would never do such a thing. Uh. Okay. We have an owl statue here as well. Ow! Everything stop killing me. Make every block design the same. A new path will open. But how? Oh. So, did... Okay. So is this just indicating that... Okay. Whoop! Okay, so we just cover those little platforms on the ground, I guess? And that will solve the puzzle? hi -ya! That little front flip is so addicting! What the heck? And then we'll mosey right now about this way. Oh yes, please. Hearts! You never have too many of those. Uh I am out. Peace out. Woof! I didn't know you were playing Mario again, right? Especially with all the enemies and stuff that are in this game. Oh my god! He literally just picks you up and eats you. Ah, oh, what the You get away from this guy! He's being toxic right now. Oh! Wow. Dude! Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just getting yeeted over and over! Okay. Okay. Round two. Round two. You truly did, B-Man. You truly did. Dude, I was just getting backed into a corner. I was getting bamboozled and also griefed in the same boss fight. Why is he eating my daily vocab? I don't know. You probably asked myself the same question. Whoa! Wait a minute. can't push it. What the heck? 
Can't push those either, probably. Yep. Woo! All right. Down the stairs we go. <laughs> I still hate that word. I know you do, Mika. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yee, yee, woo. Get me on this platform. Woo. So while I eat my baked potato, I get to watch Alec get me yeeted by a cyclops. <laughs> True. Uh oh. Whoop. That pushed me back down the stairs. <laughs> oh, you can jump in place too. That's pretty cool. Okay. This time, this time we win. This time we get the easy clap win. We just gotta play really far away from this. Oh my god, he has bombs? The heck? What? Wow. Wow, that was <laughs> a lot shorter of a fight than I was expecting, to be honest. <sighs> Alright, so we got a fairy, I guess, just to replenish our hearts and then away we go. Now that we know that blue force field takes us back to the beginning, I am just going to skip that for now. Well, there's a... There's an owl statue, whatever. I don't think we can get to it anyway. What? Black hole is an enemy? Yo, everyone is here. Oh my god! Have mercy! Alright, we have a map. Oh, I gotta, gotta go see you. Have a good one, Alexander, dude. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Enjoy Untitled Goose Game. I think you said you were going to go play that. Okay. Uh, 10 out of 5, are you going to be Tracer? Because I want to be Tracer. You can be Tracer, but I'm going to be Widowmaker. Oh my god, we need a key. Okay. That was a little warm-up. What are you supposed to do here? Just, um, lots and lots of ums. I feel like I'm missing something in this room. Maybe. No, no. Huh. Do we have any, no. Just browsing my inventory at the moment. Let's go back to the beginning, I guess. Back to the beginning we go. You have to step on a very certain part of that portal. No wonder I didn't hit it earlier. Okay. Nothing. Nothing, huh? Oh my god, he does! <laughs> Forks! <laughs> you are so right. What the heck? Why is that so funny? <laughs> oh, that's greatness. I just missed all of those throws, but you know what? That's fine. Link's a memer. I always knew it. Dude, Link is out here with the big memes. I have this sudden, this new sudden appreciation for this game now. <laughs> what the heck? So... I think the part, I think the section that we're on is actually where we're supposed to be. I just don't know what to do with it. Okay, let's reset that. They can't push it on their own either. Hmm. Hmm. That Grim Reaper is just all by himself, just waiting to kill somebody. What a lonely life. I keep missing jumps! I am throwing. Like, what? Huh. <sighs> We're getting stumped again, hmm. So we go down here. This is where the Eat Boss lives. Go this way, right? Huh. 
<laughs> I love this pose. <laughs> okay. Go this way, right? Oof! There's like nothing... Nothing here. But we have to go this way. But once we make it through this... I swear to god. These keys are gonna drive me nuts though. There we go. So once we go through here... We have this weird black hole thing. Are we supposed to just like lean into it? Or are we supposed to just go into it? Is that the strat? No. Well, maybe it is. Maybe you have to jump. No. Wow. All right. Cool. It just sends us back to the beginning. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of stumped here again. Is this Dompe or is this a tiny story dungeon? It's a story dungeon. We have talked to Dompe though. We have seen him. There's supposed to be like a key. I don't have a key for this door. But it's giving me... Giving me powder. I don't know. This is like Majora's Mask being stumped. <laughs> exactly. Maybe I'm just not used to the... To the way that... 2D Zelda games are, like... Paced? I don't know if that's even the right word. There's definitely some different level design when it comes to 2D rather than 3D. Hmm. Hmm. This is as far as we go, huh? Uh, lift the pots. We don't have the item to yet. I doubt that the this game would have any sort of soft lock like that, Mika. I had I that was one of the thoughts that did cross my mind, but I don't I don't think that's what's going on here. It's got to be something with the powder, right? Cuz <laughs> it, it just gives it to us. I don't know. Let's ask the owl statue, I guess. Defeat the imprisoned pole's voice. Last, the skeletal Stalfos. First, defeat the imprisoned pole's voice. Is that like the grim... Hold on. I'm going to do a quick Google search here just to make sure I'm thinking of the right thing. Imprisoned pole's voice. Is that the Grim Reaper thing? Images. Google Images. Yes. I do believe that is what we're looking at. I think. <gasps> I don't know! I don't know! I think- okay, I think- I think that is. Okay, so we need to defeat this- okay. God, but what the heck? That is so... Okay, so maybe that's why it gives us back, like, gives us... Gets us back to the beginning here. Alec cheats on stream. I'm not cheating! I, I'm on to the right puzzle. I just want to make sure I'm thinking of the same thing. It just calls it a different thing. Okay, so we need to defeat... Whoops. Okay, where's this... Oh my god, Yetus. Get out of here. We need to defeat this thing. Down here. Imprisoned Pole's Voice. That's apparently what this thing is called. We'll defeat that. And then the Skeletal Stalfos. Whoops. Yeah. 
Here goes one and two. But did that do anything? Is the question. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So, this way. So, okay, let's go back to the beginning and then warp our way to the Yeet Room. And then see if that did anything? Hmm. Both places like a rabbit-like thing? I don't think I've seen any rabbit-like things in this dungeon. Am I hallucinating? Did I miss something? Uh. Imprisoned Paul's voice. Oh, that caught me by surprise. Okay, so we need to defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, whatever that is. Whatever the heck that is, right? Man. So... Maybe while in this mode, try lifting. But Link doesn't even lift. Okay, we'll try. Find something to- Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> pretend that didn't happen. All right, whatever, dude. Whatever. Oh! I just did that for- what? How? No way. That's all I needed this whole time? Dude, what? What the heck, man? I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Is that what you were talking about earlier, John? Oh my god. How are you supposed to know to do that? Like, how am I as the player supposed to... to... I don't even know, dude. Maybe I'm just complaining. <laughs> there was no hint for me to do that. I just did that randomly. What the heck, man? Okay. Well, I guess we need to open this door now since we have a small key. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> I was walking around this dungeon the whole time when I could have just done that. Oh my god. Alright. Whatevs, dude. Whatevs, dude. Oh, there's ghosts! Ow, ow! They're bullying me! I'm sorry, booze. Cool. Alright. In the original Link's Awakening, were there this many? Were there this many references to like Mario and other franchises in the game, or is it just this remake? Also, we got the power bracelet. Whoop de doo. Whoop de freaking do. Oh, Can we pick up chests with this? Is the question. No, we can't. All right. Epic. Epic indeed. This is an exact remake. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see what all these creatures then looked like in the in the old style of, uh, of visuals. I, I don't even know what you would call that. All right, we got a small key. We did it. Loisimos, we did it. Not me. So... I don't know why I'm going this way, actually. We need to go this way. I guess there was something that felt like something was hidden there. This thing has like a... It sounds like a beach ball getting hit or something. 
That has a really weird sound effect to it. It doesn't sound like a shell. Oh, Jesus. Okay, can I... Okay, first of all... First of all... Okay, um... Okay, there's no pushing here. I see, I see. This little nook and cranny here. Ah! Okay, so we first defeat that... Okay. But how? What? Uh... Man, it feels so nice to be able to lift these pots now. I bought it, Jiran. How am I supp- okay. Uh... I think that's the room that they were referencing earlier, though. Piranha Plant! What?! And there's just... Mario enemies galore in this game. They really waste no time. Uh Hmm. It's literally just Mario true. True. Okay, what about How do you Okay. That's a yikes. So now now the question becomes, how do we kill this thing? Like one after the, whoa. Ah, okay, figured it out, never mind. Never mind. Need to clear a path here. What? God, everything's killing me. What the hecky? Well, how do we kill this thing? Oh my god. One problem after another, isn't it? Lift? can lift this thing? Give me hearts! I'm gonna die! Arrows? I don't have those! Oh my goodness. Eat it? Well, I mean, that's like the only thing we can try, right? Maybe if we... Oh. Okay, that doesn't work. Gonna try and see if we can throw it into the abyss. Oh my god! Okay. You know what? You know what? We're gonna go harvest some, some heart containers here. Yee. Throw a pot on it? Okay, we can try. We can try. Oh my god, that worked. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Uh... <laughs> what? I am the big genius! <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go investigate this locked door over here. Na Whoa. When did you get here? Okay. Oh my god, there's more. There's more. Use me. 
I have some pots to throw at this mouse bunny thing. Okay. This dungeon just keeps adding more and more, and <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. I will persevere, B-Man. I will do my best not to use Google. I only use, ever use it in like dire situations. What the? This one has a face! Oh my god, do I have to reset this room? I probably do. All right, BRB guys. That is the weirdest looking, <laughs> that is the weirdest way to climb a ladder. He's like front flipping. So maybe, maybe I need like one of these pots or something. Yeah, big brain. Game like this requires a brain so massive it hurts to even contain it in your cranium. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, now I don't have the boss key. Great! Fantastic! Hmm. But we really do need to do something with those, uh... What are they even called? Like, poles? There's, like, something poles? I already forgot their name. So weird. I'm just gonna call them rabbits. Can you kill the rabbits? Okay. No, I, I'm gonna go look at that hint again, because that's actually... I feel like there's a lot of room for interpretation there. Where the heck am I? Die, all of you! Okay. Okay. Jesus, man. Okay. Um. First, de defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice. Last, defeat the skeletal Stalfos. So we need to defeat that one rabbit that's trapped with the Grim Reaper-looking thing, right? Oh my God! <laughs> And then, we need to walk out that room and then kill the Stalfos? If I'm interpreting this right. God. Just let me have peace! I don't know, Rachel. I feel like it's gonna take some. I feel like it's gonna take some ex experimenting here, but we can try. So, imprisoned Pole's voice, which is this thing, right? So, take this. Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh wow. Oh my God! It's just all about the order. What the heck? I feel like I did this, but. Maybe I just did the bat and the Grim Reaper thing in the wrong order. Okay, well, regardless, we got the Nightmare Key now, so now we can go fight the boss. Heck yeah, dude. I don't know, man. This dungeon is, uh... I feel like it's not very clear with what you're supposed to do. I don't know. I don't know. Do, do you guys think the same? Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just whining, but... I feel like some of these puzzles are just not very... Self-explanatory, like as all the puzzles usually are. Well, not not that they're easy or anything, but like, I missed a piece of power. It's fine. It's not gonna last this long anyway. By the time I got to the boss door, it would already been gone. All right, boss fight. Whatever this is. What the heck? Ew! What is? Th Why does this look like a yokai? <laughs> G His name is Genie. Oh my god, B-Man, stop. I already know what you're thinking. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Hey, look, it's everyone who says Gen 1 is the best gen of Pokemon. Crazy how they put those people in the game. <laughs> Snack World GD's got a collab, dude! Uh oh, wait a minute. Uh, do I just need to knock him back at him or what? Okay, no, that's not the answer. Can't deflect him. Woo! Thing is chasing me. What the? Can't move, but I am still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Lamau. out. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are rude! You guys are rude! <laughs> Mark's 2.0, true. True. I break your bottle! I have one and a half hearts left. This is not good. This is a recipe for disaster. So I had no idea that spin attack is this useful in this game. Make me hopping mad. Oh my god, he just cursed. He just swore. Can you believe that? What the? <gasps> I almost ran straight. He's gonna corner me! Okay. Got it. All right. So we just wait this out. We just wait this out. I keep searching for uses for this powder stuff, but it's it doesn't seem to be used where I think it will be. Oh my god. Oh my god. One more. One more hit. And he's dead, probably, hopefully. Oh my god, still not dead. Okay. That was the third hit. This game seems to operate on some sort of weird pattern of fours. Instead of threes. Now he's dead? No! How? How? <gasps> this is taking forever. He's so buff. What the heck? Octo, welcome to the stream, dude. How are you doing? I'm stressed. Ah! Ooh, did you see that, like, pivot into into Sword Slash? Wow. I'm insane at this game. That was frame perfect, pixel perfect, everything. How many hits is this going to take? Spin attack instead? Maybe? Jabra, why would you do- I'm just kidding. <laughs> you just happened to co corner me there. Oh, my God. I had a feeling that... We were gonna have to take the L on that first one. Oh wait, there's stuff here. Maybe it's not so bad after all. What is this? Oh wow. 50 rupees, wow. Cool. I'm just getting more and more rich as the game goes on. <laughs> Thick clown. Apparently out of uh, the 4 million or so people who said they were going to raid Area 51, I think on at least only 75 showed up. Hey, that's a... Uh... Pretty good numbers, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've been keeping up with some of the information about that uh, over the course of the day. It's been pretty funny. No! Piranha Plant makes his way into the Smash Brothers roster and all of a sudden he thinks he's the coolest kid in town. Disrespectful. Give me heart pieces. Nothing! I'm being bullied! <sighs> well. Guess we're gonna head this way. Thank you for doing no damage. Wish there was like a warp point to this boss door so I don't have to walk all the way over here this like this every time. No hearts? Got it. Solid. Dig it. Bing, bing, boing, boing. 
Oh my god. You can make him face you. That's hilarious. Okay. Round two. Round two. One arrested for peeing on the... G Ew, dude. Why? <laughs> Isn't it like an electric fence or something? You would think it would be, right? Isn't that dangerous? Why am I even asking these questions? I don't even really actually care that much. <laughs> Alright! So... Starting from the very beginning of this boss fight. Alright, I get it. You're dropping hints. Like he wants to die or something. Okay. <laughs> They're all different things. Well, their their hearts. I mean, in in the context of the sentences, you know what I mean. Ugh. Remembering all the names for things couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Why is it only the the spin attack though that does that? But isn't, isn't heart container like the full heart that you have in your health bar? And then a heart piece is the one that you find. Well, like, I guess I know what they are, but sometimes it just doesn't come out that way. I don't know. Yeet. Yeetus. Okay, we're gonna try spinning, spin attacking on this one, just because apparently that's the only way Link can actually do damage with a sword. <laughs> You'd think just normal slashes would be fine. Okay, okay. Well, you weren't able to unlock the new Kirby theme? Nice! It looks so cute. I have all the themes so far, but I think that one's gonna be the cutest. But I really like the Splatoon one, though, because it has really, a really, like, neon colors for its theme, which I think is awesome. Oh my god, when is he gonna die? His lips and tongue change color? I've noticed that. I'm, I'm wondering if that is like some sort of indicator as to how far you are in the battle. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, so I was right, Mika. Maybe it just doesn't come out the right way sometimes. Heart! Container. Heart. Container. That is what that is. You guys see that? You guys see that on the screen right now? Heart container. Heart container. All right, cool. Another boss down. Uh, your maximum number of hearts increase. We're at what six? Heck yeah, dude. Now what? Oh, this way. <laughs> what is this? What is this? A tuba? The conch horn. Ah. That's cool! Oh my god, I love it. Another instrument indeed. That's right, Rachel. Wow! That is so cool! Rary... Rary... The prairie is waiting. The chunk tuba. Oh my gosh. Well, all right, that was uh, that was a trip and a half. But we finally figured it out, the mystery of Gapanga Swamp. Now maybe we can finally, yes, yes, Link, yes! We stand a strong queen. So we can probably go into the forest now. And there's like a puzzle, right? Where there's a, there's a piece of hearts up in here. But we also haven't explored this either. What? There's another one! This might require some other tool. I don't think I'm... I don't, I don't think I can... I can land the jump. Oh my god, I can! What? Even at that distance? Okay, well definitely not the heart container though. Or the heart piece, excuse me. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, b chain chop move! Bow wow move! What am I to do here? Bow wow just moves in front of me and I die! 
Link's screaming noise in this game is hilarious. I'd be surprised if I actually ended up cheating it, but the fact that I can't get back with Bow Wow is really leading me, leading me to believe that I, I, I did. Bow Wow's really out here trying to kill me. Look at him. Okay. <gasps> I did it! Oh, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You saw nothing. <laughs> All right. Back away. Ba oh my god. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Let's uh, pro gamer move right there. Heck yeah, dude. You see that? That was nuts. All right, Bow Wow's gotta relax. <laughs> He's eating all the enemies before I can even look at them. Before I even see anything. Okay. For this. We move. This way. Can I lift this? Yeah. Get that out of here. Get that out of my face! Heart piece acquired! Wow, we're well on our way to another heart container. We really out here grinding this game. Okay. Um. Now, we're gonna. F I swear to God. We're gonna finally make our way back to Mrs. Meow Meow. And give her Bow Wow back. Honestly, it feels like an eternity since we were first bestowed that mission. Get out of my face, you moblins! You noobs! Alright, it's gonna be to the left here, I think. Yeah! We do a little bit of this? Yeah! Okay, wow! We are finally back in Mabe Village. Jesus! It took so long for that for that dungeon. It felt like okay. Back inside we go. He's not freaking out anymore, which bodes well. Really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. No. No, that's that's not how we pay people. <laughs> you got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. You see that dialogue box right there? That is my exact response. <laughs> Just awkward. Well, all right. That that just happened. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna repress that memory into the back of my mind. Dompe's here. Good seeing you. Got your other stuff squared away right for now. In that case, let's step into my shack. Well, we'll make our way there whenever we can. Uh, 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 uh. Ulira, give me some guidance. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you met everyone on the island? There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Southeast of the village. Where is that? Richard. It's like over here somewhere? Step into my shack? Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll go give Dampe a visit and then, uh... See what we want to do from there. This game is so pretty, you guys. Like, I'm really enjoying just wa like looking at the visuals in this game. And also just playing through it. The gameplay is actually really tight, except for the jumping. You couldn't already tell sometimes, it just feels like you're gonna jump, but you actually don't, and you just fall into the hole. Hi Alec, welcome to the stream, Andrew, how you doing, dude? A secret seashell, what do you do with it? Uh, Orira! <laughs> what do we do? Okay. So... Right, yeah, we're gonna go east, I wanna, I wanna investigate that, like, graveyard looking area. As well as Dompe Shack.
Ooh, wait, there's another... Another area that we were previously inhibited from. What's this? Who is that? Tracy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. What? Uh, I guess we'll try it. Secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full! Wow, well, thanks. That was an odd sales pitch, but useful nonetheless, I suppose. Um, I don't know what that did, though. But does, does that make me, like, more resistant to damage or something? I am lost! Okay, well, I guess that's the only thing that was really over here. I think it heals you if you die? Oh, true, maybe. What the heck is this? Can't even read it. What the heck? Random gravestone. We'll come back to that little staircase here in a little bit. I have so much more things to explore now. Yeet. I'm a changed blob! And that's not all I have to say! What? What else is there? Why does he look like freaking Larry from VeggieTales? I can't unsee that. <laughs> Gives you three hearts and you get gamered upon? Well, that is something that is likely to happen. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island. I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there. And it turns into a real... Oh, this is like the... Okay. This is like the custom dungeon thing. Was Dompe in the original one? Does anybody know? I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you've got to finish the challenges I give you. So you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon. You've got to adventure through it, too. I'm no designer, though, and I'm no adventurer either. So that's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me, and there's treasure in it for you. Interesting. Finally sell to Maker. <gasps> New chambers, slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. Okay. Well, let's let's scan in our amiibo. Let's scan in our little our little link. Look how cute he is. I can't get enough of how just adorable they've rendered this character. Alright. Uh get special chamber or receive dungeon. We're gonna do get special, right? We'll just tap it. Amiibo confirmed, okay. The Great Fairy's Chamber? Oh, cool! Oh, there's more. You got the- oh my god. She's here! <laughs> the Shadow Link Effect. Cast a terrifying shadow over your dungeon. Terrifying indeed. <laughs> well, no big deal, okay. We'll go ahead and take off for now. I don't- oh, I don't know. Should we look at this? I guess we can look. Right. There'll be a stop along the way for the treasure chest if a chamber's got an exit. Ah! Eh, okay, fine. We'll look at it for a minute. Okay, all right. Take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap them onto the tiles on the left with A. A lot of times you want a chamber with a particular set of exits, so that's how I divided them up. You can flip through the list with L and R. Okay, so I'm not... Hmm. Let 
chamber stairs isn't enough. Put a second stair too, that way they'll link up. What the? Now this, put this one here, I guess. Wait. Sometimes you think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should. When that happens, press Y to check and see what the deal is. Unconnected chambers. Okay. How do we remove? How am I supposed? How do you connect these? Okay, so if I put this one here... An exit in a chamber might turn into a locked door or a shutter, depending on which chamber you hook it up to. There are rules for which type of exit gets the right away. You'll learn them pretty quick as you go. I gotta go, this is fun to you. Have a good one, Morks. I will try to remember to do that. It's, uh, that's probably like the longest I've ever actually forgotten to do that. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Have a good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, can I just like put this here? No? Oh. Oh, okay, so this determines how many how many exits there are? Okay, I see. I see now. So we'll remove this one. And we'll go up here with the three exits, right? No, we want the twos. We want the twos. We want this. I guess we'll put this boss room in there. Why not, right? And then... We'll remove that one. We need one of these as well with a treasure chest in it. And I think that's good. You save this range whenever you save your game on the system screen. Okay. Um, okay, so we recorded that. Return the menu. Apparently Dompei wasn't in the OG Link's Awakening. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Not ready yet. What? Oh, do I need a... I don't know. Ugh, what the heck? Huh. Hmm. That was the Zelda maker. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what I thought about that. I, I thought that that was actually going to be a little bit more freeform than than that. But it's you really just kind of taking snippets of other dungeons that are already in the game and slapping them together. I don't know if I like that. I'll have to I'll have to let that simmer in my mind and think about it. Anyway, what were we doing? Right. So we're going to the village and heading east to find Richard. Yoji Link's Awakening predates Dompei's first appearance in Ocarina of Time. Oh, that's a little fun fact. That's neat. Almost fell. Can I get to Mame Village from here? No. The answer is no. Richard! Richard! Where are you? Oh my god! They run so fast. I wish I could like sprint or something. Ooh! I outran that spear like nobody's business. <laughs> I know what you're referencing. Continue on the beach? I think so. I think so. so that's what we're gonna do. A little like frontward somersault looking front like this is so addicting i could just play through the whole game bouncing around like this be a nerd we already talked to that guy that was what sales i think was his name the crocodile 
Ooh, a treasure chest I would have previously not been able to grab. Mike K Gaming Show, welcome to the stream, dude. How are you doing? Hello to you as well. Happy Link's Awakening Day. I really wanted Link's Awakening. I'm jealous. Dude, McPim, it's so fun. I've never played this game before. This is my first time playing through this and any 2D Zelda game for that matter. All right, is this Richard's house? Oh, I'm, I'm just making a total wreck out of it. <laughs> I'm breaking all of his pots and destroying all of his belongings. Whoa! What the? Richard? Hey, I don't think this is Richard's house. <laughs> this looks like a, just like a regular abandoned house on the beach. Well, maybe not regular, because that's not something you see every day, but yeah, thank you, you know what I mean. Game is full of references to other Nintendo games. I've seen that. This is so cool. Hi, Alec. Hi, Magic. How are you? All right, Richard, where are you at? Maybe he's not on the beach. Woo! Guy needs to fix his floors! If it is someone's, true. True. But how many times have we had something to do around the house and we just didn't do it because we were lazy? I can relate somewhat. Why is no one streaming the Area 51 right? Because they're busy freeing all the aliens! What do you mean? You don't have time to whip out their phones and record it! They have a mission. Pim. They have to be professional. Probably this way, right? Richard is from a Japan-only game. Uh, Airu no Tame Nikane Wanaru. Translated as, For the Frog the Bell Tolls. <laughs> what the? What a weird name. Alright, is this Richard's house? Probably not. Trendy game. Trendy game Trendy gamester! Oh my god, I just found my new nickname. All right, we'll play it for 10 rupees. I see a Yoshi. There's a Yoshi plush. Okay, we're gonna press these buttons, right? Oof. What the? What are these con- Hold on, what are these controls? Did that just whiff my first shot? Oh, wow, cool. This isn't a scam or anything. Oh, man, I totally messed that up. Oh! Woo! <laughs> is that, what is that, like a bag of rupees? I think that's a bag of rupees. Maybe I just got refunded. Oh, that sucks. This sucks. I see. So what? Hmm. That's shady, trendy gamester. I don't know. So once you stop moving, either, like, it, it lets you move forward first. And once you stop moving forward, you can't move again. So I can't, like, m nudge it, you know? I can't, like, do it a little bit and then see and then do it some more. I have to judge it based on the first go. Same for going right. Oh, that is perfect. Wow. I just popped off. Is that it? Is that the one? Oh boy! Let's go! Yoshi doll is ours for whatever that does. <sighs> All right, we're gonna come out of this so, so rich in collectibles. Oh, it's like the powder gotcha. Give me the heart piece! Give me the heart piece! Don't let it go! Oh, heck yeah, dude. Heart piece is ours! Heart piece acquired! Alright, I think that's all I wanted there. Give me a holler whenever the mood strikes you again to play. So this is magic powder. Yep, 10 uses. Cool. Gives me some money, I guess. Heart piece! Neato! And Yoshi Doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. Not enough, that's how many. <laughs> so if I was right, so I was right, they literally used a ton of pre-existing game assets to make a game, lol. 
Tsuni says, whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to keep it. Thanks for asking, though. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and continue this way, right? Maybe. What is this? Animal Village? That sounds like a place I want to be. Animal Village? Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. <laughs> is that like a warp? point or something oh my god that's so weird ew get it away get it away i am done just take me to the animal village that's all i want oh i don't I, i'm just probably gonna use bombs huh oh uh, this is weird and creepy and gross they're like ah, they're like pins ah, don't get me out of here Like, just use heroes down be Oh my god, lol. <laughs> True. He just zoomed out of there. Alright, Oriro, what's next? Do you need bananas? Try talking to people in the village again. Bye! Click. I don't think I need bananas, actually. Oh, dang it, you can't cheese that. Okay. I have nine cats and seven of them are kittens. That is blessed content. I love it. Ron used to send us more pictures. It's so adorable. This whole game is cute. Here sleeps the flying rooster. You sing to your heart's content, Marin. You do whatever you want. I'm allergic to cats. Oh, oof. All right. I feel you on that one, though. I'm actually allergic to cats, too. And dogs. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But you know, at least I can admire them from afar. So maybe... Maybe do I need bananas? Bananas. Hello, Sir Alec. Hello to you, Sir Snail. How are you this fine evening? Welcome to the stream. We're hanging out. We're gaming. We're playing some Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. Uh, have you ever played this game before? Did you pick it up? Okay, let's see. Let's talk to Sales again. Maybe he has some more insight. How he's collecting rare and unusual canned food. Oh, that's right, yeah. I don't have any canned food. Ugh. Ugh. Bananas are on these trees, but I can't farm them for some reason. And I don't know why. I've got enough for Castle Crashers though, but you're poor. Oh no! Hey, Castle Crashers is really good though. Castle Crashers is amazing. Have you and the lads started playing it yet? I picked up my copy a couple days ago and I'm excited to get back into that game again. Unlock all the knights and stuff. What the heck? All right. Where is, where is? Where is Richard? More importantly, where are we supposed to be going? Okay, so the prairie is waiting. Ukuku Prairie is where we need to be. And we need to travel through the forest and head this way, it looks like. Would yell at you for killing my relatives, but I'm not related to them, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's good. Because <laughs> then I would feel bad. Brew, Mika, Mika's spitting facts. You're right.
Another thing you should also do, not pull your cat's nails, claws, or like declaw them, that's what it is, yeah. Do not declaw your cats, it's bad and horrible and very painful for them, and we don't want that. Ah! These blobs! Alrighty, I think we're making progress here. Uh, I think. Okay, we need to go this way. A little bit further down. <laughs> have you declined a... Uh, have you given him a... Uh, God, it's like it starts with an M. The boy. The boy. What sort of care have you given the boy so far? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> He's just a boy. <laughs> uh, if Rusty wasn't already Rusty before we, before we called him boy, we, he would probably have, have suffered the same... Or maybe not suffered, but, you know, came to the same... Naming scheme, I guess is the better way to put it. Okay, the next question. How to get this way? Uh... Hmm, let's see, looking at the map here. Hmm. That is worth a try. That is worth a try. Uh... Those look very trackable, you're right. You're right. Um... There's a lot of fractured walls around here. Maybe there's like a small mini dungeon that I need to complete that gives me bombs? Let's check in here, I don't know. Maybe there's something useful in here. I like thinking noises. Big thinkerino. We gotta put on our thinking caps. Well, that just ruined the entire thing. Wow, I thought that was gonna kill you. Officially the worst. What the- Okay, we need to reset this. <laughs> we need to reset this. I can't take the skulls out of the room because they'll, they'll despawn. Uh, da da da. Hmm. Okay... Okay... I think I just messed up the heart piece, but that's fine. You can come back and get that. Wow! It's just rupees! Alright, we're gonna go back and get the heart piece now instead. So... Analyzing. Calculating optimal wind condition. I think we're gonna go this way. And then one of these, right? Then one of those. Have a good night, Octo. Thanks for hanging out with us, dude. What do here? Uh. Oh, wait, no, I, I figured it out. Wow, I'm big dumb. There we go. Got it! Another piece of heart. How many do we have now? 
Oh wow, that was the last one! We have seven hearts. Seven heart containers, look at that. Money is always good. I don't know what to spend it on though. At this point, I'm just kind of accruing rupees until I find something useful to, for them. I don't know. I am lost at where to go as well. It seems to happen a lot in this game. <laughs> That might be due in part to the fact that I've never played a 2D Zelda game before. Wow. How oh, cool. Oh, what's this? Ooh, look at that water. That looks nice. Oh, God, I almost killed myself. I'm addicted to jumping. Who's this? Is this Richard? Please tell me this is Richard. Sorry. Help me. Richard! Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you're looking for something, aren't you? I may just have what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. All right, we're gonna get the shovel from Dante. Dante, I call him Dante. Wow. Wow. That just happened. Do I go faster by jumping like this? I think I do. You just got money to buy this, true. Although it's probably gonna be like, what, 20 rupees or something? Something cheap. This is like the first time we're actually spending our rupees. Kinda sucks that I have to walk all the way to Dompei though. Dun, dun, dun. He's a frog prince, really? I guess that makes sense with all the... Amphibians walking freely amongst his belongings in his house. Do other people play the game like this, or is it just me that's like really into this jumping thing? Woohoo! Piece of power! I think with this, I actually run faster than I do jump. Oh my god, you don't get it from Dabe. Wow. Wow. Alright, well, we're backtracking now, I guess. Ah! There needs to be, like, a shortcut or something to the village. I don't like going through the forest every time. Unless there is one and I'm just, like, totally oblivious. I guess I gotta keep that in mind then, Mika, you're right. It seems like, I guess his only purpose here is really just for like the Zelda Maker stuff. Dungeon Maker, whatever you want to call it. Oh cool, I can lift those up now. So, Village Shop is, I think, this way? No, oh, that's the trendy gamester. <laughs> God, that name is ridiculous. Thomas Bertram, welcome to the stream, dude. Shovel! Oh, he's got heart containers here, too. I'll take one of these. Oh my god, they're 200 rupees? Jesus! Well, spend our money wisely, I guess. All right, well, we've got ourselves a shovel, ladies and gentlemen. Take the shovel and leaf. Can you still steal? Uh, isn't there repercussions for that? Okay, where to next? Yeah. He said something about the castle, right? Just kill him, Jesus! <laughs> Been playing too much Skyrim, I see. You retrieved the golden leaves I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay, so. 
golden leaves in the castle when he fled. Got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can, Thomas. As a matter of fact, I think whenever I was at E3, I remember a couple of people mentioning how, like, that little interaction is still intact, and people were just kind of, you know, um, experimenting with what was and wasn't the same with uh, the new game. But it seems like Nintendo's done a very good job at keeping everything well-preserved. Hmm. So what can I dig then? What is the shovel even used for? I have so many questions! I'm gonna go talk to him again just to kind of get an idea what we're doing. <laughs> Jibran, you're like, steal something! <gasps> Afraid he's decided to wait at home. Okay. Those digging spots. Oh. How am I supposed to know where those are? I don't have Bow Wow with me anymore. Oh my god, I'm gonna be tired all of a sudden. Um, go to the castle to get the leaves? Where even is the castle in relation? Oh my god, it's way over there. I'm assuming it's this. This little section of the map. Because it's got a castle on it. <laughs> Due to my highly educational guess and my deductive skills, I can conclude that the castle is indeed the castle icon. Oh my god! So we're heading back to the castle, I guess. But we can't get in. And you go through this. What? Oh my god, you need to enter through Tall Tall Heights! Ah, oh, no! I think. That's what it looks like, anyway. Okay. Now we're on the quest for the golden leaves, it looks like. Kiki the monkey. That's where the bananas go, I see. Look at all this stuff just coming together over time. It's all linked! I'm trying to jump! All right, or Rira, can you please help me? Need a battering ram, please. I need some sprinting shoes, or some running shoes. Why does he keep talking about bananas every time I talk to him? Every time we call him, it's all about the bananas. All right, well, um... Quest for the five golden leaves, huh? Nana. The nanas! But to get to the alligator, we need like canned food and stuff. Oh man. Well, uh. G. Willikers, you guys. You want to know something? Uh, this whole quest for the golden leaves thing, it really does sound like something. You want to know what it sounds like? It sounds like the perfect place to begin on our next stream. <laughs> Seriously, we've been here for three hours now. And we've only beaten, I think, two dungeons and a couple of other side quests. So, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things off there. I don't know how people are able to beat this game in one sitting. I guess part of it is just because of the fact that I've never played it. But, man, I feel like we made some pretty decent progress during today's stream. So, 
Let's go ahead and switch over to our webcam view because oh, I sh can we just admire this for a second though? Like, hold on. If we take if we take my camera away, look at how pretty this game is. Sitting back and admiring the visuals and everything about this game is just so well put together. The music, the, the lighting, the, the actual character models themselves, and just the overall personality they exude is just so so I don't even know what word I would use to describe it I love it needless to say I love it so I guess with that uh, we'll go ahead and end things off here we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our webcam view now kill the birds no no I'm not falling for these bamboozles <laughs> I'm not falling for these bamboozles all right oh my god ah! dropping stuff on my floor all right guys so boom uh so that has been our initial first part of our playthrough of Link's Awakening. I think this is going to be another game where I kind of want to stream start to finish. Just because um, it's really fun and everyone is... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like everyone's kind of enjoying it, you know? So uh, I, think, I think we'll play it all the way through. Plus, it's not that long anyway. So um, this will be fun to, to actually properly play through. Anyway, um, for everyone that was here today, thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Happy Zelda Day. Happy Link's Awakening Day, everybody. Such an exciting day. I did not anticipate to be enjoying this game as much as I have been. So, uh, needless to say, I'm excited to, um, I'm excited to get going. I'm excited to, to play more. Continue this playthrough on the next time we play, which should be sometime relatively soon in the future. It's got to be before October, the end of October, because that's when Luigi's Mansion 3 drops, and I am excited about that. That is, like, my game of the year so far. <laughs> Maybe not that far, but it's definitely high up there. Thomas, thank you for subscribing, dude. Look at that! You got Funky Kong! I feel like, I, I feel like a lot of people get Funky Kong, but I see a couple of other ones in there. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, a couple of things I want to go over, though, before we take off is, number one, uh, this coming week... We do have, or actually not this coming week, on the 30th. I need to, I need to, I'm going to drop a reminder every time we're live and every time I can, just so everyone is perfectly clear. September 30th is coming up. That is the last day to submit your course submissions for our Mario Maker 2 challenge, our Rusty challenge. And then uh, that following Friday, so from the 30th, a couple days later on Friday the 4th, October 4th, is when we're going to stream all these submissions. I'll give you my initial thoughts. And then we'll announce the winner a few days later. So, we've got that coming up. We've also got more Link's Awakening coming up, obviously. And uh, more Fire Emblem, Smash Brothers, all that's good stuff to look forward to. So, uh, lots, of stuff to, lots of stuff to play, lots of stuff to do. And uh, this coming Tuesday, I, know, I normally don't stream on Tuesdays, but I do look like, it looks like I do have some stream free, free time. So, um, I will probably be putting a video together of the new Shantae game. Shantae 5, or otherwise known as Shantae and the Seven Sirens. The first part of it is actually already out on Apple Arcade, despite the fact that it is not available until next year. So I'll probably play through the first part of that demo and um, give you my thoughts, show you the gameplay, and um, yada, yada, yada. So <laughs> I think that's about all I can muster as far as, uh, as, far as stuff looking forward. Anyways, um, I'm going to stop rambling now, for real this time. Anyway, thank you all so much, everybody. I appreciate each and every single one of your faces, everyone watching now, everyone watching archived, everyone that tuned in at all today. This game is really, really fun, and today has been so crazy and hectic, and it's been great to just sit down and experience a new game like this with you guys. So, with all that said, without further ado, there's only one thing left to say before we go, and that is, of course, as always, I'm Alec and stuff, and I will see you all again. Real soon. Bye, everybody. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you all so much for tuning in again for like the millionth time. And um, I'm going to go lie down because I'm super tired and I'm also really hungry. So I might just chill out in the bed and have some snacks and browse Discord if you guys need me. So I'll be, uh, I'll be there if you guys want to chat it up for the rest of the night. I might be falling asleep early, though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I tend to talk too long for the ends of these things. So I'm just going to go ahead and cue, us, cue up our song. Our outro and bid you all a good night <laughs> all right have a good night guys bye